Okay, everybody. Um, I am here at the Family Restoration Center with Molly Christensen and Melissa Price, and they are two of the leaders of this expedition that has come to help us with the Family Restoration Center, and they've actually already set up a new Family Literacy Center this week with their team that's been here, and it's been a pretty pretty awesome pretty fabulous pretty experience <laughs> so just wanted to really quickly get some of their thoughts number one about their trip their experience that they've had so far but also a lot more about what they think about the family restoration center we've been here four hours now this is the first day we've been able to actually come in and do work on it this is the first day we've had um, possession of the property so we are super excited about that and um, anyway just wanted to get their their, their impressions of families mentoring families, what we're doing, their time here, um, what they think about, uh, yeah, what's happening. Man, this has been an amazing experience to bring a group of teenagers and moms over to I'm Ghana. Over here. There you go. <laughs> and to just see how the people live here and see what needs there are and just to see how loving and friendly the people are. It has truly been amazing. But it's also been amazing just to see what good things Becky and Families Mentoring Families is doing here. Um, I'm like, I can't even believe what the things that they've accomplished here as they are here and not really having all the resources like we do in America, but they oh, bring, like water? <laughs> yeah, like water, electricity. <laughs> Little things. You know, <laughs> and, and they're just... They're accomplishing amazing things and helping so many people. It's pretty awesome. Your turn. All right. <laughs> it's great to meet the people here. They are beautiful. They are so beautiful and very loving, very generous and kind. And I love watching um, all the youth learning um, a little bit about gratitude. I certainly I'm learning about that too. I'm grateful for all the construction in Provo. Never thought I would say that in a million years. <laughs> right? Because um, somebody's working on the roads. Somebody's working on the roads. And yeah. even the roads that aren't, they're still drivable. <laughs> yes. Unlike here. Yeah. I remember one yeah. particular pothole I would... Mm -hmm. Uh, say not nice things about all summer long and now I'm gonna be grateful there was only one <laughs> but um, it's it's a really fun pace of life to learn from and um, it's great to see the people are always out it's like such a bustling live place here in Ghana and um, people are always connecting with each other in person like constantly and I love that about their society and um, the opportunity to uh, strengthen families is so exciting because the families here um, have a tough time they have a lot of things mm -hmm. going on and um, what a blessing it will be to reunite children and their parents and um, strengthen them it's awesome and this place here is so incredibly beautiful and I love watching the light in our youth's eyes as well as the adults when they are catching the vision of what it could be so we got to come to the Family Restoration Center uh, for the first time today and as we walked in um, it was so fun to hear the kids' comments as they started to get a tour of this property. This property is really quite big and it has a ton of potential, <laughs> which also means a lot of work. Um, but it was so wonderful to hear a lot of their comments going, wow, this place is awesome. I love it here. I want to live here, you know? <laughs> and, and I thought, you know, it's so interesting because they can see the vision of this place, of how many people is going to help and how peaceful and awesome it is. And, and they weren't really seeing how much work needs to be done. There, there is a lot of work that needs to be done. But with, you know, help, this place is going to be amazing. Even, I mean, it is amazing, but it'll be livable. <laughs> That's really what it is. Amazingly livable. That's, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you guys? What would you say to people who are thinking about coming to Ghana on one? Like, if they were going to come and help with some of these projects, if they're thinking about, what would you say? 
I would say do it. it. If you feel that call, if you feel like this is something you would like to do, don't worry about how, because you will figure it out if you feel the call. You the, Taking over a group of 21 people was really actually quite of an, an impossible event with bringing this many people to Ghana because this doesn't really happen here. And this <laughs> many know? kids, right? With this many this kids. This many kids who, yeah. who earned their own money. And they all earned their own money in and about they did it. three months. And, you know, at the beginning, nobody really knew how it was going to get done. And it, as we went along, we still didn't know. <laughs> but we still just moving, kept moving forward in faith. And we kept having miracles occur with, with um, what it needed to take to get us here. So I would say this is an experience of a lifetime and it's awesome and give it a try. <laughs> Get it done. For sure. If you feel that call, especially if, if you've ever had that thought, don't, don't put, um, if you think this is something you need to do, when I, this is what I'm saying, um, make it happen. Don't listen to all the reasons why it couldn't. <laughs> that's actually a really good, that's a really good, um, summation of that right because a lot of times when you get an idea like that then you can you follow it up with all the all of the reasons why it's impossible and you can't do it right right yes. and so right. really um i think we've all had that experience i think everybody that's mm -hmm. on this trip has yes. had that experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um they've done a lot of soul searching and work about why they're supposed to come when they feel like they're when right. they feel that call and they don't know why they don't know what it's about <laughs> but now we're, we're finishing up we only have a few days left we have done some stuff we have yeah. done some stuff Life changing. In these in these two weeks, we've seen amazing things happen, and we've seen huge growth in everyone. Oh yeah. That's that's here. That's we're, stepped we're out in faith with it. Hot and sweaty, but you know what? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so worth it. It's gonna sweat. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that. So anyway, yeah. So, any last words, ladies? Anything yeah. else comes to your mind? Come help. It will be an experience of a lifetime. You will love it. Yeah, do it.